I know this is trite and inadequate, but I will say it anyway. Merry Christmas. And my hope is that uh, beyond the words, there really is a blessing and that you feel within you now and all days Jesus' presence in his promise that the light is always, always stronger than the darkness, always. And that there will be, because of Christmas, home, family, and love forever. There was a story in the paper just a few days ago a young girl, nine years old, with cerebral palsy. Her name is Amy. And she wrote a letter to Santa. Dear Santa, will you please give me this for Christmas? Her prayer was, or her letter was, not for a doll or some new clothes. She said this, Dear Santa, Amy with cerebral palsy, nine years old. Please help me have one day at school where kids don't make fun of me because I can't run and because I can't talk very well. Jesus is in the Amy's of our land. This is the time we remember his birth. But I would remind you of this. If you were to go to Bethlehem now to find the manger, you would find it empty. He left it to be with us, to be with you, and to be in your hearts, and to be in the hearts of those around you. In his appearance, has become so ordinary, so matter of fact, so every day we could miss him because he has become so ordinary. Look for him in the manger and you will miss him. He is in the hearts of those around you and wishes to be in yours, to be the light in the darkness, the fire and the passion that drives us to love and care passionately for each other. The manger is empty. He is here to be the fire and the passion within us so we care profoundly and passionately for each other. Merry Christmas.